All right, so in this video, we're talking about the area between two curves. So let's say I've got uh, this green curve here, and I've got this red curve here, and I want to find the area between the two curves uh, when, say, x equals 1 and when x equals 4. Now, that looks something like this. Now, uh, there. There's my area between the two curves. You can see it's 20.48 between 1 and 4. Now that's showing you what it is. It doesn't show you how to do it though. Uh, now, according to our one note, this red shaded area between f of x being the top curve and g of x being the bottom curve is um, the integral of f of x with respect to x minus the integral of g of x with respect to x. Now that makes sense because um, the integral of f of x is the area from there all the way down to the bottom. And the integral of g of x is from the, there down to the bottom, which is the green bit. If we subtract one from the other, we'll get just the orange, or just the pink bit. Um, now, if we're doing that, we can rewrite that as just the integral of f of x minus g of x. We're creating a new function by subtracting one from the other. Let's look at what that would look like. So those functions, I'll show you what they look like. Those functions are actually f of x, the green one, is 2x squared plus 5, a quadratic. That g of x is 0 0.1, 3x cubed plus 4x squared plus 3, so it's a, a cubic. Uh, if I subtract uh, g of x from f of x, I'll get this thing, this orange curve here. Now, check out the area under that curve between 1 and 4. You can see that by creating this new function, one function subtracted from the other, the area under that new function is identical to the area between those two original functions. It's, it's pretty magical, works every time. So there's our rule. If we've got f of x above g of x, uh, we just need to subtract g of x, or the, subtract g of x from f of x and then find the integral of that. Now, if both of our curves were below the axis, well, what do we have to do there? Well, this is an interesting one, so you need to think about it a little bit. Um, the green area here is a negative number. It's, an, it's, it's a negative area. Uh, now, the area from the x-axis all the way down to g of x, the bottom one here, is also a negative number. It's a more negative number. So if I take this negative number and subtract the larger negative number, I'll get a positive number. So all of that is to say that if I want to find the area, the orange, the, sorry, the pink or whatever colour that area is, all I need to do is the same thing. The integral of f of x minus the integral of g of x, um, or the integral of f of x minus g of x. Now, if, they, uh, if the regions cross over the x-axis, uh, you need to think about that one a little bit. Actually, I'm lying. You don't have to think about it at all. In all of these cases, it's always the function that's lower, the function that's underneath, it's subtracted from the function that's above. Okay, so as long as you remember that g of x is the lower function, then it's always going to be f of x minus g of x, the integral between those two. I'm just going to talk you through the worked example in the textbook here because it's not actually that complicated. Find the values of x where the functions y equals x and y equals x squared minus 2 intersect. Okay, so if I want to know where they intersect, I let one equation equal the other. So x equals x squared minus 2, and I get these two intersection points, x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. I'm really just solving the two equations simultaneously to find where they, where they intersect. Now, let's look at that. Um, we have a line, y equals x, and we have this quadratic, y equals x squared minus 2, and they meet here and here, when x equals negative 1 and when x equals 2. And it says, sketch the graph and hence find the area bounded by the curve. So the area bounded by the curve is this bit here, and that's the area between the two curves. Now, if we want to find the area between two curves, we take the lower function. Now, for this particular part of it, the lower function is y equals x squared minus 2 and we subtract it from the higher function. And in this case, the higher function is x. So we're going to do the integral between 
to a negative 1 of the higher function subtracting the lower function. So the higher function was y equals x, and we're subtracting the lower function x squared minus 2. That gives us a new function of x minus x squared plus 2. And then we just integrate between 2 and negative 1, solve it. So there's a bunch of work there, but you can see that's pretty much how it's done. Now, of course, this can become more complicated when you've got functions that meet at points, like two points like this, and you want to find the area between uh, bounded by the curve, but also this area here and, say, this area here. Uh, now, in this case, if we look at this particular example, the shaded area is going to be equal to, um, so let's look at this carefully. We have f of x, this equation here. We have g of x, this equation here. Now, from here to here, g of x is on the top. So if we want to find the area above, oh, sorry, between them, but from there to there, we've got to go from C1 to A with top function, which is g of x, minus the bottom function, which is f of x. Now, if we want to find this next middle bit, we go between C2 and C1, top function, which is f of x, minus bottom function, which is, in this case, g of x. And then, if we want to find this last bit, we go between B and C2, um, g of x, which is the top function, minus f of x, which is the bottom function. And then we add them all together. Um, that's, really, that's really all there is to those ones. I don't really want to go through a million examples of these because they just take a long time to get through. Now, of course, you can get around, is it f of x on top, is it g of x on top, by using absolute values. Because then it won't matter whether you put f of x on the top or g of x on the bottom, you're still going to get your answer as long as you wrap everything around those absolute values. Okay, that is a, um, a rough look at areas between two curves. Um, that's really the key to it. Everything flows from that formula. Um, the best thing to do is to get stuck in and start getting some answers to pop out. Good luck.